in this video I'm driving a Toyota Estima Lucida Charm Pleasure Wagon with Joyful Canopy and yes that is a Peugeot 305 and yes that is another one it's just that sort of a weekend so that's how it knows around. Hubnut sponsored by Lancaster Insurance So yes, the Toyota Lucida is one of two different types of what we got in the UK as the Previa, and I think America got the Previa as well. Um, Previa had clap hand wipers, this has a slightly different setup on the wipers, also very, very slightly narrower. But um, we've got these fantastic side graphics, look, charm, pleasure wagon. And um, yeah, sexy graphics all around, we've got four wheel drive, it's 2.2 litre, um, uh, turbo diesel, uh, four-wheel drive, Estima, Lucida, various things. Uh, we've got a door on this side but not on the uh, other side and um, we've got my mate Joe's bed. Um, yes he's very much in bed mode at the moment. Um, is it a comfortable bed? Let's see what it's like. Well I'd say it's a little lumpy to be honest. You'll see the sun Shining in through this enormous sunroof, that is the Joyful Canopy, uh, is what it's marketed at. But we've got twin sunroofs, there's one in the front as well. We've got curtains even. It's um, all mod cons. I don't think they're powered curtains though. Um, in some Japanese cars they are actually electric. Um, so it's quite impressive. It's a mid-engine, so the engine's down here between the seats. Um, there's nothing up front other than the radiator and uh, I don't know if these are the same as the petrol but on the petrol there's a huge lay shaft which goes all the way to the front to drive the fan. Uh, notice the big double din stereo going on, column gear lever, lots of grey plastic, sort of swoopy futuristic dashboard. We've got um, vents all over the place. Look at that. Um, it is um, entirely wonderful. But um, because it's such hassle to get to see the seats, uh, the engine rather, because you have to move the seats, we're not going to bother with that, I'm afraid. So I have to do without. But um, I think, frankly, we'll just crack on with going for a drive. It's not my shadow in it, that's very professional. But I um, don't want you get getting too carried away and thinking I'm too good at this just because I've got a fancy new camera. Uh, so let's go for a drive. Right then, folks, here we go. Let's try and stop you vibrating. belt chatter going on there but yeah welcome to the charm leisure wagon uh, not much engine braking going on there steering is very very light but um, it's quite pleasurable and um, I'm, I'm getting much joy from having my joyful canopy open uh, we're very well ventilated at the moment Test the windscreen washers. Oh, look at that. Oh dear. A, Joe, these wiper blades are knackered, mate. B, massive triangle of doom going on, dribbling right down the windscreen. That's um, horrible to see. Oh. But, um, yeah, we're in Devon, which is why the road is terrible. Ugh. Devon is not the place to come for a test drive, it turns out. You know, I've still got dribbles coming down the windscreen. Ugh. This is why triangles of doom are a bad idea. You don't get a triangle of doom with the Previa, and in fact on some Previas you even get a pantograph wiper on the clap handers. Whoa, that's sexy. So it's, it's a bit sluggish. And I don't think it's helpful the fact he's running on 90% vegetable oil at the moment. Uh, my mate Joe, he likes to, uh, I think he's very fond of the environment, so he likes to use waste vegetable oil. And um, yeah, it um, leads to a very distinctive exhaust note. Um, you know, with, with um, little tangs of um, chip shot. Indicators on the right has his JDM spec. Lag, 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 go! Hold up, 
belt sounds lovely, Joe. That is um, top quality there, mate. Look out, charm pleasure wagon coming through. I, I suspect. Oh, oh, Land Rovers. I suspect something's a bit loose at the um, belt end because the power steering is also occasionally a bit notchy at slower speeds. But it's a beautiful day here in Devon and um, yeah, certainly um, can't fault the weather today. It was horrible last night, but um, I'm not sure what I'm talking about the weather or what relevance that has. But you sit really high up. Um, but despite that, um, the handling is uh, its a bit leany, but um, it feels fairly stable, um, actually. It's just that you suddenly feel how high up you're sitting. Um, I'm sitting a good um, metre or so off the ground. It feels a bit like I'm driving Bigfoot in my Charm Pleasure wagon. fairly lazy automatic gearbox, it's got overdrive on or off, so um, I've turned the overdrive off, so I've got slightly lower gearing now, it's probably more suited to around here, and um, overdrive, as you kind of expect, ah, oh, it's Chris in the DS, um, yeah, different set of ratios, Let's see if we can have a play with that later on, maybe, uh, here we go, then we're in full acceleration mode with the non-overdrive, Speedometer doesn't work. So, what sort of vehicle is this? But, um, there's me overdrive. Oh yeah, that's got the revs down. I'd love to know what speed we're actually doing. Oh, overdrive. Um, switching in and out apparently. We've got a bit of flicker going on from the light switch. But you know, I like how the controls are laid out here, the heat controls. I'm guessing the air conditioning is dual zone. Um, I don't think it works. Um, but um, yeah, certainly there's a lot to enjoy here. I think I could be quite tempted by one myself. But they do have a nasty habit of knocking out um, cylinder heads. Um, they overheat to the point that they crack. Or they crack and cause overheating, I'm not entirely sure. Um, which is why you don't see more of them about. better cornering than my Honda SMX, which is a bit annoying, to be honest, I don't know if you remember, I used to own a Honda SMX, another wacky slice of Japanese domestic mar market goodness, well, like this model, was not sold in the UK originally, it was a grey import. so many have found homes over here because uh, especially around town you leave it out of overdrive um, make it a bit more nippy um, yeah it's all good oddly in the UK market they never sold the um, Previa here with a diesel option which I always found slightly odd I'm not sure why Maybe it's because they knew it was slightly fragile. Although it doesn't seem like Toyota to sell anything that's um, slightly fragile. You notice we've got a reverse beeper on the inside, not on the outside. Yes, yeah, steering very notchy there. So I suspect some belt shenanigans going on up front. Gears. It wants to be in top almost immediately. But then kick down is fairly immediate. I imagine it um, cruising. 
cruises along quite nicely actually. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't describe the performance as brisk at all really. It's um, yeah, quite sluggish. Maybe it's less sluggish when um, it's not running on almost neat vegetable oil. But you know, it's quite a warm day. The veg oil should be fairly liquid today. into top gear with the um, torque converter lockup by the feeler of it. It wants to keep the revs down. Uh, I certainly appreciate an automatic gearbox that wants to keep the revs down in a diesel because um, diesels are all about torque and too many diesel autos are too revvy. I don't like that. It's fairly quiet given I'm sitting on top of the engine. Uh, I don't think that's too bad at all. Oh, she was loving my charm pleasure wagon. I think she was mostly loving the fact that I stopped and didn't crash into her. But I'll take what I can get. So there you go. That was the Toyota Lucida Estima, or Estima Lucida, whatever, charm pleasure wagon with joyful canopy. Um, there is the joyful canopy, very joyful. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, there will be more road tests coming soon to Hubnut. So I should say, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. Don't forget the merchandise, like hoodies, at um, hubnut.org. And uh, I shall see you in a future video. Farewell.